Hey, what's going on guys? I'm just doing a series on at-home soccer training. So I shouldn't probably be letting you see my house right now. It's a mess. We just got back from our trip to Arizona last night and we got a newborn baby who likes to terrorize the place. And two crazy dogs. Okay. But sometimes you're stuck at home. Like take a look outside. Hey, take a look outside snow everywhere. Some of you have to deal with that all the time. Sometimes you got no time to get to the field, but no excuses. Add-on training is a great way to get your touches and improve your skills while you're at home. You spend a lot of time at home, you might as well make use of it. So I've got a bunch of videos. I'll put a link to that playlist. Uh, all these videos that I made, I'll put a link to that. You can check that out and just be creative with it. Anything you want to improve, your dribbling, your juggling, your passing, your shooting, your strength, your fitness, you can do it at home if you're creative and you watch those videos that help you out. Here's Reyes. It's gonna be Canadian women's national team. A couple of years, a couple of years from now, you watch out for it. Okay, so yeah, I just said a couple of things I want to say. Come with me, walk with me. Bailey, where's that ball? I usually can't have the ball out because this guy will just tear it to shreds. But if you've seen some of my other videos, I recommend just have a ball with you. Walk around, around the house with the ball at your feet. So if you're going to the couch, hey, if you're going to the couch, have that ball with you. If you're going to turn on the TV, keep that ball with you. If you're going to the washroom, you're going to the kitchen, wherever, just have that ball at your feet, get those thousands of extra touches a day. You won't even notice it, but it will improve your touch. Okay, and then like I said, you can do all those drills. The other thing I want to say before I leave today, hey, go ahead. When I was like in college, I made a little mini net and I had it in my apartment and I would just shoot at that thing all day and that was some of the best goal scoring form I was in in my life. I was I was in pretty, I am in good goal scoring form right now, maybe even better than that, but I went through a little slump and I thought to myself, what was I doing differently? Well, the thing was, I was scoring hundreds, maybe thousands of goals every day because I was like watching TV, watching a soccer game and I was just shooting on a little net. So now I can't do that because these dogs are crazy, but I play with their ball, try that. Okay, and I'll just shoot in this box and I'll get my goals. I'll take my shots. I'll try to beat these dogs, beat them one-on-one -on -one and take a shot in the net. But if you have like a little, maybe you can shoot it into a pillow or you can make yourself a little net. And every time you're watching TV, you're just taking those shots, getting goals, getting hundreds of goals all day. Even though it's not quite the same, you are still getting your head up, picking your spot, putting it in the net. Okay, so that's a great, another tip for what to do when you're at home and you want to get better at soccer. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure that you check out that playlist and please like, please comment, please share this video. Share all those other at home training videos, all my videos. Make sure you subscribe for more videos and I'll talk to you real soon.